In today's tutorial, we'll be making a photo manipulation of this junkyard dog here. And you'll need some images from either a stock website or your own images. I got them from Stock Exchange. Here's the URL. It's sxc.hu. And I will show you these ones. This is the junkyard image that you have in the background and this is the dog and this is the rope that we'll be using to go around the dog's neck and connect to the board. You're going to cut all those out using the pen tool. Um, I show you how to do that in the last tutorial and I'm not doing it in this one for the sake of time. So go ahead and pause this video and cut them out to view the other tutorial if you haven't already. And um, I'll show you these guys cut out. This is the board image from last tutorial and yours hopefully will look a lot better than this. Mine was just a quick demonstration. Here we have the dog cut out. There we go. And here we have the rope cut out from the water. And now I'm just going to drag this one out, this rope image. If you are using CS3 you don't need to do this. This is just tabs for CS4. And I'm going to go ahead and pick the dog, dog image and then I'm going to go ahead and drop the rope into the dog image here and go ahead and minimize that one. And there we go. We got the rope in there. Let's go ahead and drag it up to the top layer. And then we're going to press Command T to invoke the transform tool and we're going to rotate this guy like so, and then we're going to bring it up here a little bit, and then we're going to shrink it from the center using Shift, Alt, and click and shrink it down here. Let's go ahead about there, press Enter, and there you have your rope. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate this layer by pressing Control J, and make sure you are on the rope layer before you did that. And then we're just going to go ahead and rotate it over and let's bring up the transform tool again control T and rotate this guy around like so and bring it up a little bit around his neck you want it a little bit we're gonna fix these later so don't worry if you're not gonna get them perfect right now we don't even have the board in yet so just go ahead and press enter to commit those changes and next let's go ahead and plop on the board here Go ahead and drag layer one over here to the dog image and minimize that guy. And now you have the, the board image here, like so. And it looks like we need to drag this guy a little bit up so that we can um, match the sizes. And that looks good and then go ahead and press enter and nudge it over if you needed to and up okay now what we want to do here is um, go ahead and name these layers because we're going to have a, a few layers to deal with so you don't want to get confused later down the line um, I'm going to name this guy left, rope left and this guy rope right right okay and then um, we're gonna add some layer masks to these two ropes here and that's a good thing because we're working non-destructively for the rope layers which is a good thing you can always change them later so don't use the erase tool use um, layer masks and how we're gonna deal with the layer masks is that we need to use the brush and layer masks only deal in black and white so if you have a white layer mask here you need to in order to hide a rope or an object or whatever you need to paint in black and so if you have white as your foreground just go ahead and press X and that will change your colors around that'll switch the foreground and the background color and if you have some other colors here you can set the defaults by D 
or you can come up here and click this icon right here. Okay, and let's go ahead and start masking these out by pushing the brush tool, which is B, or it's this icon right here. And then I need a bigger brush, and I'm going to actually use a hard edge brush. So I'm going to bring up the brush box here, and I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. Actually, I'm going to switch it to a hard edge brush first and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I'm going to click off. And I'm going to go ahead and use the bracket up key to go ahead and enlarge the brush a little bit more. And let's go ahead and paint on the layer mask for the left rope. And as you see, it's disappearing. Okay, good. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for the right rope. Just go ahead and click on the layer mask on the right rope and go ahead and start painting. Okay, and then let's go ahead and fix the ropes so that they look like they would be going around the dog's neck. And you just need to press V to get back to the move tool. And then go ahead and click on the right rope layer, and not the layer mask, make sure this one is selected. And then go ahead and um, bring her in a little bit by rotating it a little bit left and then nudging it over a couple and pressing enter and there we have it and then let's go ahead and zoom in by pressing control plus and we'll go ahead and brush this one as well so press the B for the brush tool click around here for the dog face and start brushing this rope away And then we'll get in closer in a minute here. Okay, so once you've done that, go ahead and zoom in closer. And let's go ahead and start brushing. And if you go too far, just go ahead and press X to bring white back up, and this will get you your rope back. Okay, I'm going to move on for the sake of time here. And let's go ahead and do the left rope. Press V for the move tool and zoom back out a little bit. And go ahead and rotate this one a lot more. Bring it back down into about here. And then go ahead and press Enter. And then we'll bring the brush back up. Make sure you're on the layer mask. And then go ahead and press X for black and go ahead and start brushing away and press control Z if you really mess up there and brush away like so Again, you want to get in there, take your time, and make sure that you have a good enough, oops, a good enough rope, convincing of, like, pretty realistic here. And I'm just going to move on again for the sake of time. So please join me in part two of this tutorial where we'll cover the rest of this, okay?